Are you experiencing flu-like symptoms? Well, you may need to get tested for HIV. And this is because uh, some of the early signs and symptoms of HIV include flu-like symptoms. And that is what we shall be looking at in today's topic. Don't go away. So welcome back, good people, to my YouTube channel. This is a channel we discuss matters health. If you're new here, kindly hit on the subscription button. Uh, and also help me to like and to share the video and don't forget to leave your query or your comments in the comment section so hiv infection is normally caused by the hiv virus uh, and this virus actually destroys um, an individual's immune system uh, rendering them to be prone to opportunistic infections and this is what we normally refer to as um, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome there is AIDS, AIDS uh, whereby you find that this individual who has progressed to AIDS has a weak immune system so they are prone to so many opportunistic infections and these opportunistic infections include um, pneumonia, tuberculosis, we have meningitis, we have toxoplasmosis, uh, we also have Paposi sarcoma and many other so to avoid this, in case you test and you find that you're positive, it's advisable to start ARVs early enough uh, so that you avoid the multiplication and spreading of the virus uh, to the, throughout the entire body. So when you're on ARVs, the virus will be contained. Actually, the virus may be undetectable if you're taking your ARVs correctly and your immunity will be on check or your immunity will be okay and when your viral load is non-detectable or it's not detectable uh, you will not infect your partner or you will not infect other people so once an individual has acquired hiv or has gotten the hiv infection uh, it may take two to six weeks for them to develop signs and symptoms uh, in most individuals uh, they may not develop any signs or any symptoms they'll be perfectly okay so it's very easy for someone to go for several years without knowing that they actually have the sim the virus they actually have the virus so these signs and symptoms normally develop uh, as a way of the body's immune system trying to respond to this infection because the body has its own mechanisms of uh, realizing that there is an infection or there is a foreign body the body's immunity will respond to this infection and it is during this response that the individual will experience or will develop the signs and the symptoms which include um, headache, fever and chills, uh, we have generalized body weakness, we have joint pains, uh, we also have a uh, sore throat and we also have uh, something that we normally refer to as generalized lymphadenopathy. Uh, this is whereby you find that uh, our bodies have uh, several lymph nodes in various parts of the body. And these lymph nodes are actually our defense mechanism uh, to infections like viruses or bacterial infections. So once an individual has acquired an infection, these various lymph nodes or these lymph nodes in various parts of our bodies normally respond by getting inflamed or swelling. So if an individual uh, does not get treatment or does not get treated, they will progress into stage 2. HIV has actually four stages according to uh, World, Health, World Health Organization clinical staging. So if they are not uh, started on treatment while in stage 1, they will progress into stage 2, stage 3, and eventually stage 4. So in stage 2, we find that um, this individual will, will develop um, an explained weight loss, moderate, moderate and explained weight loss of around uh, less than 10% of their initial weight. Uh, they may experience recurrent um, Respi upper respiratory tract infections like um, tonsillitis, uh, we have sinusitis, pharyngitis, otitis, which is uh, ear infections, and they can also develop uh, skin conditions like herpes zoster, dermatitis, 
uh, fungal skin infection. So the most important thing is to ensure that you get checked early enough and you get and once you've been diagnosed with HIV, you start treatment that is the ARVs. Um, HIV actually does not have a cure, but the ARVs normally help to contain the viruses or to avoid the viruses from multiplying. And this individual will have a, a normal life. They will not be prone to opportunistic infections. And actually this individual who has a a viral load that is not detectable uh, and by this I mean that um, the virus in their bodies are very low, are too low to be detected. So if the viral load is not detectable or it's very low, the concentration is very low in the bloodstream, it means that this individual, uh, the chance of this individual uh, infecting the partner are very, very low. And it also means that this individual will not be prone to opportunistic infections because uh, the viral load or the viruses in the bloodstream are contained. So, rush to your nearest health facility, get tested for HIV. It is a test that is that does not take so long. And just in case you get diagnosed with HIV or you've been diagnosed with HIV and you've not started treatment, kindly go to your, where they normally offer the, uh, the HIV services. Uh, you'll be counseled, you'll be started on treatment, you'll be advised on diet, and you'll live a normal life. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.